We are uh, recording in front of a live studio audience. I've always wanted to say that. Oh, okay. Like, well, uh, why don't you say it again? Just because you've now live staff. studio audience, kind of like it, Cheers used to say that. Those old sitcoms. It's a know. lot better than a dead studio audience. Well, I don't you know. know. <laughs> those really just get smelly. And well, we've only just got started. Oh, and we, uh, can pr- we can suck the energy out of the room pretty quickly. <laughs> we'll see how we do. Uh, but uh, here tonight, live with our special guest, Lance Scapura. Very good. Executive director of Thoreau N M. A production company. Yes, which... Uh, and falafel stand. <laughs> Variety is good. Now, what on earth possessed you to found a theater company in Pittsburgh? Was it alcohol? No, it was unemployment. Ah, very um, good. And after a day of handing out resumes and being told, I'm sorry, we're in the middle of a recession, uh, we would come home and try to find... Well, that was polite. Yeah, well, it, well, I was cleaning it up for the audience. Uh, <laughs> we, we decided that we would put together a theater company. And the name is unusual, Thoreau N M. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? Well, absolutely nothing. All right, moving on. <laughs> now, the the story goes that whenever again we we started off on unemployment, and whenever my uh, well, managing director Wendy Ray, who is also my good lady wife, um, <laughs> that we had a friend by the name of Elliot, a great guy, one of the true poets in the world. I mean, he actually. Was a, he wasn't a poet who was a janitor. He wasn't a poet who was a high school teacher. He was, that's all he did. And Elliot had a lot of money. Well, he would buy when we would go out. So we always hung out with Elliot. He would read us some verse. We would have a couple of drinks. We'd hang around. But Elliot always liked to go to the same bar. And there was this one little bar, I think it was called Kylie's in Crafted. It's in where the oh, uh, the bus station is right now, the, the busway station. The building doesn't exist anymore. But we were such regulars there that this one barkeep would see us coming in. And he would always say in this thick, thick Pittsburgh dialect, hey, look, it's the row in them. <laughs> But now it, it, it appears in writing as Thoreau, comma, and the letter mm-hmm. N, the letter M, mm-hmm. as, as if it's a town in New Mexico. There, there, there is actually a town in New Mexico, but it's not called Thoreau and M. Surprisingly, it's called Through and M. <laughs> okay. It's spelled T H O R E A U. NM. Wait, no, that's Thoreau. That is Thoreau. Well, it all depends on how you pronounce it. The guy who who that's uh, damn this. Thoreau. But uh, the, the wonderful thing about this this uh, little town is that it's about mm, 60 miles out of Gallup. And whenever you're driving from Pittsburgh mm. to Southern California, which we were doing at the time, you go past this little town and it says through New Mexico, and underneath it it says no services. <laughs> and so, if you're going to start a theater company. On unemployment, you're probably going to do it with very little services, so there's another good reason to call it that. So a photograph of that sign has mm-hmm. got to be like your logo. It is. It is. Thanks to the young and lovely Andy Coleman. Hey, Mr. Coleman. <laughs> Pittsburgh New Works Festival has been around for about 25 years. Uh, yes. And uh, there is only one other festival like it in the world, somewhere in Germany. They did this comparison. And they accept uh, one act scripts from all around the planet, and they choose 12 per year to produce for the very first time ever. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're produced by 12 different theater companies in mm-hmm. the city. So it's really sort of like striking the gong and bringing the Pittsburgh commu- uh, theater community together. Absolutely. Uh, and it's a month long festival which now performs at Off the Wall Theater in Carnegie. And uh, yes, indeed. And for ONM has been with a uh, producer in the festival for how many years now? We started in year three whenever they expanded from a three-week festival to a four-week festival. That Wait, year three of the festival? Three year of the, three, three year of the festival. It was our first year of producing. So, I mean, one of the things I like about the New Orleans Fest is that it's it's sort of a MacGyver theater. Because you're doing... <laughs> On a shoestring? You know, I, <laughs> absolutely. You're, com- you're coming up, you've got these scripts, you want to produce shows so that the playwright gets the opportunity to see them, mm. and to, to see them in the full light of day. Unfortunately, you can't do a full set or anything like that because it's in repertory. You're doing three shows a night. You can only do it with this, that, and the other thing. So our budgets are literally into the tens of dollars. And <laughs> and what, what one of the things is, as a director, there's a lot of different ways of directing. I'm sure you know it's because mm-hmm. you've directed. A lot of times you have to direct by putting your hand on everything and saying, you'll do it this way. And sometimes you just sort of let the actors play and let them do what they want to do. I think I got that right. 
Well, they're clapping anyway. A lot of times... Well, now that we know you're not psychotic, please right. carry on. Yeah. And, and, but you need to be able to get it off in 15 minutes. To, and, and the other team... <laughs> Do you know Mike Caselli is the first one to laugh? Hello, is it me you're looking for? Right. Which of the following is not a style of telephone? Mm -hmm. Ashtray, butter stamp, candlestick, Eiffel Tower, Grandma's mustache. <laughs> yes. Yes. You know, I can pull it off. Yeah. You know? When I'm not doing these interviews, I, I live my life as Snaggle Puss. Okay. I, I... You should do it semi the other way, right? It, it would be five five. You do it. You do it through the rotary dial this way. You do the rotary dial. You're like on the other side of the world. Exactly. Is it like a gravity. Well, it's it's it's, 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 the, it's the Coriolis effect. <laughs> Don't oh, you like like how the water goes the, the different bed. way down the toilet? Oh no, this is high octane potato mm -hmm. vodka, yeah, yeah. and in fact, uh, with very little mixer. Uh, no, a you, it's, it's, it's a perfectly made martini. You take the vodka, you put it in the glass, you go in the other room and you whisper vermouth. Yes, and that's the perfect. Churchill recipe. Yes. Winston Churchill had it the same way. And look what happened to him. He died. <laughs>